Welcome back to the Commissioner's Office. My name is Ryan and I am your Commissioner. In today's video, we are going after Crown Zenith. Once again, 30 booster packs looking for gold. Yes, in this video, I promise that if I pull a gold or the Mewtwo V-Star, we will open Shining Legends. But guess what? No matter what, we're opening up these three booster packs. We're going to have a great time. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. And let's get into some Shining Legends and Crown Zenith. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody, to my addiction, which is Crown Zenith Booster Pack opening. Sword and Shield era, one of my favorite sets. One that I just cannot pull the best cards in. We have been on a hot streak lately of pulling the top cards from every set, just not Crown Zenith. And to incentivize us to pull some gold, if we pull any gold, or I, I will say, or the Mewtwo, if we pull the Mewtwo, we will open up this box of Mewtwo Shining Legends Pin Collection Booster Packs. We'll open the whole thing. And it's got three booster packs in here. It's got Shining Legends packs. The top pulls could be Mewtwo, the Secret Rare. I don't wanna hype that up too much, the Secret Rare and the Rainbow one, um, Shiny Rayquaza and such, but what we're really looking for right now is gonna be any of the top pulls. Crown Zenith has been blowing up lately. It's one of my favorite sets. I just keep going to Target because they have them and price matching them with Amazon, which are about $43.99 as opposed to paying $50 to $54.99. Let's just jump into Crown Zenith. We have 30 booster packs on deck. And I am so excited. We're not going to go through these like we always do. We're just going to take the packs and go. And we're going to just jump into these. We got two stacks of 15. We are looking for gold today uh, or the Mewtwo. And let's see. Let's see if we can get either of them. Also, the Glaceon's been blowing up. What else? The Leafeon. What else? We got all the legendary dogs. Raikou, Suicune, and Raikou, Raikou Suicune. Suicune and Entei, we got an energy switch there, a Tangela, Baltoy, Galarian Meowth, Whalmer, Shinx, a Grubbin, are we gonna start out big? No, we're not, Executor. So first pack, nothing, I do need to take out the trainers. Those are worth sorting up front. I'm trying to get in the habit of doing that more. But come on, baby, we are going for gold, and if we get gold, you guys, we get to open some Shining Legends, and if that happens, the last few Shining Legends packs that I opened were none, none too good. And I feel like this might be the time where I can pull something really big out of them. Agron, nothing. So that's it. Two booster packs so far. Dry. I'm dry. Three ETBs. I think that's almost a guarantee to get at least one decent pull. And I'm thinking we'll get like a... Uh, I've never pulled the Simisir V-Star. I do have it. Uh, Skrelp Helioptile, but I've never actually pulled it in the wild. Wild Digging Duo and Executor again. That's that's wild. You know what? I actually have it right there. That's funny. Actually, I just saw it because I was looking for some top loaders, and I was like, oh, look at this stack that I got here. Um, I think I left off on the right. Hopefully, I'm doing this right. I get too distracted. Who squirrel? One, two, three, four. Come on, baby. Let's go. Show me that gold. Show me that v mute. Whoa. Luxio and Shinx. Show me that Mewtwo V Star. Coughing, Bidoof, Laron, and a Dragalgi. Dragalgi. I why is that not a dragon? It's drag is the very first few. Is the first syllable in that Pokemon's name. It should be Dragon. Seal. Kreketot, Eran, Rioli, Electiver. That's a very good one to get. That's one of the top ones, I'd say, to get in the Galarian Gallery form. And a Ditto Holographic. Very nice. I will take that Electiver. And uh, bank on that all day. I got a little binder for all my Crown Zenith hits, and I definitely feel like this is a set that I can complete. However, I cannot get the gold card. So if I have to buy those, then I do. Everything else, I probably have three of. Just not the golds. One, two, three, four. I'm almost kind of thinking I don't want to not. I, I want to open this Shining Legends. And I feel like if I have to just do it, then I might just do it. 
and there's nothing you can do about it. Having a nice day though. It's uh, what, Wednesday after Memorial Day. So you guys might not see this video for a while, but it's nice and calm in Wisconsin again. Crazy, crazy clouds outside. Nice, cool weather. Perfect having the windows op open, but uh, you know, just it's a good day to open Pokemon cards. Are you guys seeing these poor cuts? Look how thick that bottom line is, and look how thick thin that is. Salandit, Purloin. This would be the one to have a golden, and it'd be all miscut. Scrup, Helioptile, a Mew. We can't stop pulling this Mew card. We get this every time we open Crown Zenith now, and it should be one of the top Galarian Gallery. It probably is top Galarian Gallery. Um, well, in in this in this style. Very nice. You got the Galarian Ponyta there. Was that Squovet? Greedent? Yeah, Squovet. That guy. Cramorant and Cutie Fly. Oh, Nidoran's down there. There is something down there too. What is that? I can't even tell. I can't even see what that is. Why can't I tell? Oh, well, doesn't matter. So we got two Galarian Gallery um, cards pretty quick. I just spent way too much time looking at that, but I was curious. I was just a little curious. One, two, three, four. I just wanted to look at it. Have you, would you just look at it? Carvanine. Oh my God, look how bad these are cut. Is that just the left side or is it the right side too? Pancham, Snow Runt. Let's get something here. Come on, baby. Pawniard, Helioptile, Hatterene? Hatterene VMAX. I feel like this card is incredibly common for a rare, and it would be. I mean, it is, it's one of only two or three VMAXs, I think, or is it the only one? Why am I racking my brain to remember? All right, let's go. Let's keep it going. We're looking for gold. We're looking for that Mew 2 V-Star because we want to get into the Shining Legends. And I don't want to disappoint people. Dusclops, Grubbin, Skrelp, Wulu, Helioptile, Pancham, Whale Lord, and a Whale Lord. That's really weird. Two Whale Lords in a row. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 packs. There, two, four, six, eight, 10 there. Okay, so I think I'm doing a pretty decent job of going alternating. Let's see if we can get an alternate art. I guess those would be the Galarians, right? Full arts. Let's get some, let's get some. We got three ETBs here. I mean, maybe I mixed them up to the point where it's like, we're get, just getting all the garbage pulls kind of out of the way, but we're not getting anything big. Rock rough. Another whale lord. <laughs> Jeez. Yikes. Yowzas. Whale lord. Get out of here. Whale lord, go send message quick. Tell all the rare cards to make an appearance. All right, let's see what we get. Electrike. Lost. Vacuum. Great ball. Shinx again. Larvesta. Pawniard. Oh, don't turn into whale lord. Ooh, we got the hope of Hoopa V. I completely forgot this card was in this set. Um, I don't know why. I thought Hoopa was a part of like Lost Origin or Silver Tempest. That's all right though. Nice, I mean, that's a good pull. I feel like I've sold this one several times, so I think I can finally have, start building the binder and make it more most complete because I just, I pull so much Crown Zenith and I'm not gonna stop. I'm telling you guys, go to Target. They price match Amazon. Amazon sell them for $45.99, $43.99. And you get 10 booster packs of Crown Zenith. That is a friggin' steal, especially because Crown Zenith is blowing up. Oh, my, look, thin, thin again. Very thin. Yeah, Tangle Up, Ball Toy. Galarian Meowth, Wilmer. Not another Wilmer. Shinx again? What is this gonna be? Toxtricity. Toxtricity. I could tell just by his feet. By his toxic feet. That's all right. So we got quite a few Galarian Gallery. We got one alternate Galarian Gallery, right? Yeah, Hoopa V. I guess, are we calling those, are we calling them Full Art Galarians? Full Art Galarian Gallery. So far, kind of weak, kind of weak. Not what we're looking for. I forgot if I started on the left or right. Oh well, just try to go on the left this next pull. 
But we're looking for bigger stuff than this. Bigger, 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 bigger. Pincherin Rare Candy by Sharp. So the left side seems, it was this, no, I'm going to the left next time. Uh, holographic Water and a Scizor. Um, but we're gonna go to the left this time, right? But, oh, okay, so hold on. Maybe, look at that, now I'm just noticing it here. Look at all of the, some of the packs have this white line. So let's see if these are the miscut ones that are really thin. I bet you it is. It's gotta be. One, two, three, four from the back. Sword Shield era stuff. Trekking shoes so far, no. Luxio, no. Lost Vacuum, no. Yanma, no. Pawniard, good, they're not miscut. Potion, Galarian, Mr. Mime, and a ugh, Hisuian Voltorb. Nobody wants this. This is the most, this is the worst. This is the laziest design card in my opinion. It's not good. It's like they were designing it for Applin and we're like, oh wait, we got the Pokemon wrong and let's make this, you know, Voltorb out of wood. You go over there, you're garbage. I'm sorry, I just do not like that card. I think it's probably the worst card of the set. Um, right. Let's go. Come on, gold or V-Star. How is it this difficult for me to pull a gold? Oops. All right, well, we got one. Here, it fell right there. Another Luxio. I feel like we get a lot of Luxio. Soul Rock, Rare Candy, Love Disc, Chatot, Yanma, Pawniard, Bidoof, Fire Energy, and a Heliolisk. So two holographic energies, two packs apart. Let's go here, gold, baby, come on. Like, I feel like this is not how Crown Zenith usually is. And I was very picky. I was very picky at Target. I actually chose exactly which one I wanted. I, I didn't go just one, two, three off the shelf. I, you know, had to just mix it up too much. So land it, and a Dragalgarg. I don't know why I do that. All right, let's see, two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. All right, so I am doing a pretty good job of switching off. So 14 left. It's only, it's less than one and a half ETBs left. Half would have been 15, right? Wait, how many did I say we have? 14? All right, so then we're like just a little beyond halfway. Emolga, Young Goose, let's go. Cherubi. We got something else again. We got the Pikachu. So that is a very collectible one uh definitely one that people are looking for and then a textured fuego energy which is wild because we're getting what was that three holographic energies in a row but only one textured i always forget the textured ones are a thing this is a good card though i do like it a lot that's a nice one and i will sleeve this because they are in demand to a point people like the energies look at those pokeballs and the uh fuego energy embossed on them those are sweet so boss so boss all right let's go one two three four come on baby elect yep look how bad those are so that one's really poorly cut rescue carriers poorly cut giraffe rigs poorly cut scyther emolga young goose cherubby let's go baby be uh and a luxray yowch all right we don't have many left maybe 12 right 12, possibly. Let's get a big pull here. Let's get Leafeon. I'd, I'd be satisfied with Leafeon. Friends in Nisui, Shaman, Crushing Hammer, Oddish, Seal, Cricketot, Aeron, Riolu, Great Ball, come on. Tapu Lele, Holographic. I think I did the left. These snap right open. They're really nice. Come on. One, two, three, four. I like the booster packs of Crown Zenith. I don't know, just this is when quality started getting really good. And then when I say that though, look at that quality, really bad. Lunatone, Scarlet and Violet stepped it up. Yanma, Pawniard, Cricketot, except for lately, I do notice that the top right corners of a lot of Scarlet and Violet are like bent and they look terrible. Another Whale Lord to add to the collection. Maybe 10 left, there's something here. One, two, three, four. What could it be? I'm gonna say Roiku. I'm gonna say Raikou. Just the edge just looks dark. Ultra Ball, Salazzle, Yanma. They should do this with the legendary birds though. I know they did it in Chilling Rain, but they should do it one more time. Potion, Galarian, Mr. Mom. What do we got here? We got something nice. Hisuian Samurai. All right, so I, I got I got like two or three of those. So I guess that's the other one we get. Not bad. 
Not the best, but all right. So we got a Hoopa and we got a Hisuian Samurott V. I'll take them. Again, these are all going up in value. People are probably looking to finish their collections or just get the last tail end of Crown Zenith before it's it's too late. It's probably on its, it probably already was printed last or on its last print. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. It's on its last print or it has been already last printed, but who knows? I don't know. One, two, three, four. Let's go, come on, gold. Let's get some gold. Giraffe rig, Sunkern, coughing. Oddish, Salandit, Energy Search, Aeron, and a Galarian Preserver. I keep forgetting which side I go off. All right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So this is left. I gotta start remembering. Come on, baby. We did get something out of two booster packs. We, we, we haven't done poorly, but we haven't gotten the cards that we've been chasing for forever. It's just like impossible to get a gold. Oddish, Salandit, Energy Search. Another holographic energy and a scissor. It just always remembers. Uh, I, I always, it just always remembers. I remember this one kid um, who like left a comment a long time ago, like when I first started. So adamant. He's like, it's scissor. I'm like, oh my bad. So sorry, your majesty. I pronounced a Pokemon wrong. Oh no. All right, four from Beck. Let's get something big, boy. Shaman, Friends in Hisui, Potion, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Coughing, Oddish. Sharon's Care, I just pull it all the time. Double banger pack for once. No, eh, that's not a double banger. Nope, oh, that should go in the trainers. All right, so we got another full art rare. Sharon's, car, uh, Sharon's Care is a good card to play, um, very playable, especially if you're playing like Arceus, um, any colorless Pokemon essentially. But not a gold. It is not a gold. And we need that or we need the Mewtwo V-Star. I don't know what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four. Gold, 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 gold. <laughs> Gold. That's not a gold. That's a big doof. That's a big old big doof. Yeah, like 50 of these. So I crown zenith is good though. You do get a decent amount of pulls. Those are our pulls. And that's pretty good. Except that one. That's a Did I sleeve one non-textured energy? That's weird. I don't know why I did it with the rest. Five booster packs left. One sixth of the packs we've opened. So this is one sixth left. Maybe we got something back here. It looks like it's just a V. How many Vs have we pulled in this one though? It's probably just a V. Emolga, Young Goose, Crushing Hammer. It is Lustre, Rotom. <coughs> Rotom's very playable, excuse me. Again, I have about 50 of these. We got enough Rotoms. Gold, let's go. One, two, three, four. Rescue Carrier, Laron, Friends in Chino, Shinx, Larvesta, Ponyard, Whalmer, Pokeball, Volcanion, and our favorite Pokemon, which is not true, Whale Lord. Um, just Whale Lord, we pulled probably more of that rare than any card. Let's go. We have three booster packs left total. Let's get three golds. Luxio, Digging Duo, Shaman, Shinx. What the heck is that? Ooh, that's actually got texture to it. That is something right there. That's weird. Okay. Ooh, what? Some ink exploded? Seal, Rock Rock, Radiant Eternatus, the first Radiant that we've pulled in this video. Um, probably the hardest one to pull. I don't get a lot of Radiant Eternus, Eternatuses, Eternatuses, but that, that's a sick one. Um, it, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, Eternatus should have had a really sick card in this. They did give a good one in Shining Fates. I did like the black and gold for the Eternatus and the VMAX version. Those were sick. Laron, gold, Love Disc, Chatot, gold, Yanma, Ponyard, gold, Bidoof, gold. Pokemon Catcher, and a V... Eevee? EVV. An EVV. Would you like to trade your EVV for my EVV? Yeah, EVV for EVV. All right. 
I'm being lame now. That's okay. I'm dwindling, dwindling my energy because I'm so disappointed. But I tell you guys what, this is the last booster pack. But I'm a nice guy. I'm sad because we have not pulled a gold or the Mewtwo. We're gonna open it anyways. We're gonna do it. We're gonna open it. I don't care. I had full intention of opening it. My, <laughs> I mean, this isn't a gold, but there's something in here. And maybe it's just the marker, who knows? Nope, there's something back there, but it's probably just a V. Pincherin, Pokemon, Catcher, Bisharp, Execute. I, I really just wanted to open that so bad. Um, I have some product left from regionals, but not a lot. Uh, but that's one that I've been wanting to open. Nice! We get a Radiant Charizard, so it looks like the last Crown Zenith pack is going to be a double banger. And it's just a basic Zashin V. But what a good way to end this, especially the Radiant Charizard. Another very playable card uh, for the Charizard deck right now. It's going for only about six or seven bucks, but I could see that going up in value pretty darn soon. Um, let's do a quick recap of just the Crown Zenith stuff, and then we'll get into the Shining Legends pin collection box, but we got the Zashin V, Radiant Charizard, always a solid pull, Eevee V, Radiant Eternatus, Rotom V, Holographic, Grass for some reason felt like sleeving that, Electiver, Galarian Gallery, that's probably one of the better ones, that and the Magmortar are really solid, Bidoof, Sharon's Careful Art Trainer, Textured Fire, Pikachu, actually very good pull, that and the Mew are the top ones I would say, and we got the Mew, uh, Hisuian Samurott, Hoopa V, Toxtricity, Hatterene V Max, and like I said, the Mew, sleeping with all, all around its little buddies, not sleeping with. Sorry. Um, let's take a sip of my beverage of choice. And we're going to open up this Mewtwo Shining Legends pin collection box. I am so psyched for this right now. I don't know all the pack arts. It looks like there's two Mewtwo's and a Rayquaza in the back. I don't remember which um, which booth I got this from at uh, Regionals, but these were going for about 90 bucks, and I think they were going for 90 bucks last year. Um, so Shining Legends booster packs haven't really changed, but you always get better deals at like card shows, especially Pokemon um, Regionals. But here we go, the Shining Legends pin collection Mewtwo box, a dangerous experiment, Mewtwo. From its earliest days, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo has always been a formidable foe. With this Shining Legends pin collection, you get Mewtwo both as never-before-seen playable foil promo card and as an awesome collector's pin. Your attacks will be fast and furious when Mewtwo starts slinging Psychic-type power. So awesome. We've opened a few of these before. I've opened the Marshadow. I think I've opened the Hisuian Zoroark. But now we're moving on to a very different box featuring Mewtwo. And I'm pretty sure it was those. Yeah, right? It was because the other one, no, yeah, they were all Shining Legends before I did Blastoise and uh, a Charizard Generations uh, collection. They only had two booster packs. But we get this very cool pin. I love it. Man, my hands are really, my fingers are really messed up. But that is a very nice pin right there. That's going with my collection. I do like collecting pins. A lot of people who purchase off of my eBay, uh, which is Misfit Cards, is my seller store. You usually will get a free pin, free cards, whatever. Uh, so look out for those and make sure that you bid on stuff. And then we got this Mewtwo promo card right here with Super Cybolt doing 100 damage and pressure ability. Very cool. This one's in actually really good condition. Very little bow to it, but also Black Star promos are just really cool. I like Black Star promos a lot. Mewtwo being one of the fan favorite Pokemon. Number 150. It's always nice to put in a, a sleeve. And you can hang out there with Mew. And then we got three booster packs. And we're going to go Mewtwo, Rayquaza, Mewtwo. And you guys can have that code card if you desire. So we got them right here. Look at that set up. Bang, bang, bang. Man, they just don't do pack artwork like this anymore. Solid, solid, solid. So we're, I'm just eating up time a little bit here. We went through those 30 packs of Crown Zenith pretty quick. And now we got Shining Legends. And so I think we'll just go, you know, 
left to right. We're looking for the Mewtwo, Rainbow, and the um, test tube Mewtwo, which would be great. I think it's three from the back on these. This is Sun and Moon, right? Sun, But Sun and Moon is four. Sun and Moon is four, right? X, Y is three. This should be three, though. I think it's three. There's the code card. We're going to find out really quick. What I would really like, realistically, is the Shiny Rayquaza or the Shiny Mew. Also, to join its friends Mewtwo and Mew, or the um, Test Tube Mewtwo, or the Rainbow. Ultra Ball. Damage Mover. All right, so, so far we're doing well. Lily. So we got three trainers in a row, which is pretty wild. Litten Los Kitten. Purloin being another cat. Misfit, Lulu, come over here. Daddy's opening Pokemon cards. Maybe they'll help me out. Zerua, Gallet, come on, baby. Make something big happen. Larvesta, so, so far I'm off to a good start. Okay, I did it right. Shroomish, nothing, but a Raikou. Okay, we got a Raikou. We got a holographic Raikou. We got a reverse holographic Shroomish. Not too bad, not too shabby. First pack, nothing. That's all right. I have not had good luck with Shining Legends. Maybe, just maybe, these last two booster packs have got something, anything. Down to the Rayquay and the Mewtwo. I think I'm gonna end it on the Rayquaza. Something about it. Something about that boy. Let's go Mewtwo, let's get it. Let's show them all. Let's show them all how we do it. Code card, three from the back. And these are all in pretty darn good condition. We got another damage mover. How? Switch, three trainers in a row. I don't know if that's normal. I never really get to open Shining Legends, so you guys tell me. We got the Pikachu. Totodile, nice. And a Bulbasaur. This is a banging pack already. Gullet, especially if you're into all those Pokemon. Volcarona, and then let's, we got a Shiny. That's the Rayquaza. <laughs> Oh my god, we pulled one of the cards that I really, really wanted, and we got it, and it's in such good condition. Those sides are pretty good, the front is looking great, the back is nice. We got the shiny Rayquaza. Oh my god, thank god it wasn't a Volcanion. I am so sick of pulling a Volcanion. In one of these, I pulled two Volcanions in one triple um, pin collection pack. But man, we got the shiny Rayquaza. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Very cool, guys, we did it. We got one of the top pulls. This is a big one. I think that's top six or seven, um, but maybe we can outdo that. Maybe we can get the top two. <clears throat> maybe we can just uh, get one of the Mewtwo's. Sorry, I had a tickle in my throat. Rayquaza, meet Rayquaza. Hey, how's it going? You gonna pull me again? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> What a bunch of silly Rayquaze. That is such a sick card, though. You know what? I got my little... Hold on. That just disintegrated. That just, like, fell apart. Here, hold on. He's coming down. Rayquaza. Hold on. I'm playing now. I'm just being a goof because I'm having such a good time. I'm actually happy we did this. All right, bye. You are not standing up right. We got three from the back. Let's get it here. Let's get something big. End it off on the Rayquaza pack. After pulling the shiny Rayquaza card, we got another damage mover. We got another Ultra Ball. We got Jinx. Very cool artwork there. Scraggy. Shroomish. We got a Quillfish. We got a Stunfisk. We got a Reverse Holographic Fighting Energy. And we're going to end it off on... Oh, wait, are we? Hoopa. Okay, so we do get a Hoopa. Did I go out of order? Oh, that was weird. So we do get a Hoopa, and we get a Reverse Holographic Fighting Energy. But guys, we ended it off on a big pull there. I would say that Shiny Rayquaza being one of the best pulls that you can get in the set was well worth it. I'm happy you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you did. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, um, and let me know how you guys liked this video. And if you want to continue seeing Crown Zenith opened, or if you guys are completely over it, um, but there's the shiny Rayquaza that we ended it on. 
in Shining Legends. But I'll see you guys next time every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll see you guys every week until I get bored of doing this or you guys stop watching. Whichever comes first. Rad Trading Cards out. Peace out.